So we can get started. Anubis, our first map. Yeah, same map pool as uh, just a few weeks ago at EPL. So uh, we'll see if Mongols are able to crack through on the map pick of EF on Anubis. It's, I guess, one of EF's home maps for sure. Something they like to pick into. Something that they look uh, very strong on tactically. Wakadia, quite... Oh, okay, don't worry about Wakadia. We'll focus on Senzu. We've got uh, Rashley, one, two, three, four, five, six, and MC bringing you all the action. And uh, Senzu with the opening kill. The B-hold seems quite strong on paper for Mongols. It's Techno and Senzu, right, as the two defenders there, and then they have yeah. Mizino as the A anchor, Blitz as the, the mid player, 910 as the rotator on the AWP. I have a really ignorant question. Oh, but I'll throw it in a second because Senzu's nailed a really nice second headshot, takes down Madger, and they're testing him, but he's not giving it up. He's happy to take those fights, will fall back on the reload. Mazzino's found Woxic as well, who is going to be a huge win condition for Eternal Fire throughout the day, is he not? Five alive, though, four Mongols. Woxic in a, a phenomenal form. When uh, G2 would go for the A main control from Malbs with the standard util set, they would edge and play ahead of the smoke for info. And we'll be crawling up the connector. So Techno going to backpedal and play with Senzu. The two of them are starting to press towards a B main push. This is a good call for info though. Have Wakadi. Oh, never mind, it was mid where the fight came first. Now they push out B main. Kind of a pincer maneuver. Wasn't ready for the con occupation so quickly. Magic just surges forwards. Kalix will too try and clear out this B anchor, but Senzu solid. Good work from him. Staying dynamic. Teeps control on B. The bomb ah. not in their hands. Mazzino, he activates on A. But 9-10, he does have Madge's cross. They don't know it, but they have the bomb. It's at the top of B. Dark oh, God, they get the fights. The fights just come to them. Lovely patience on display from Madge. The trade is there from Zentaras. And Eternal Fire will get their first gun round. I like the idea from 910, right? Isolate Dark so you could hard clear that angle, but just doesn't win out the fight. So a couple of them looking a little bit wobbly. We have another buy. Blitz quite literally just has a USP, so he's going to have to pick up a rifle. Flash forward, five for Zentaris, traded by Senzu. Wakadia sends him packing for now. Oh, yeah, and he is in a position to kind of catch wind of their presence. You can see the flashes from Woxic. He'll smoke heaven and flash them out. Mazzino going to be safe from those. He's held on to his incendiary lo as long as he could, but drops it out towards the pillar. And that's his first test. Does well in combination with his teammate, but unable to do much more. Senzu, another multi-kill round. Not just ditching. He's piecing. Well, Blitz is also rotating back. That's uh, Woxic down. Now Blitz is going to be there on the B side to greet Madja with open arms. What an incredible round from Senzu. Uh, and Madja, you're going to try and plan. You're not going to get much further. Blitz will flatten him. And we will see a very quick response and a return to the victory for Mongols. The international uh, team. Space Trace Station, I think it's called. That's it, that's it. This is a full bigo, Alex. Yeah, but they're going into Senzu's domain. Let's see if he can keep the frags flowing. 9-10 can't, misses his chance. Nice from Wakadia, down after one. Techno, MP9 damage onto Kalix. More damage, a shot finds than Tares, but the defense got no hope now. The nade looking for Kalix won't find him. Nice this little change it. of pace, and he's actually going to push the issue. He might catch Mazzino here. At quick reaction from the Mongolian. Well, now tantalizing two players low, so do they have a look in on this? It'd be one hell of a retake. A 2v4 retake is a, a crazy request. Smoke and kit present, though, and we'll see if Mazzino gets any further to the fight in the open. Look Down goes Kalex. He's playing for the save. He's in middle. Oh, he's in dark now. Yeah, they're going to potentially be able to bait them out onto the bomb. Time is of the essence, though. Blitz takes him down. Now they can get on it. Zantares, low HP. Blitz to provide the covering fire. One bullet does it. And a 2v4 retake. Blitz and Mazzino regain control. Tell you about getting ahead of yourself there. Woxic pushing into spawn. Look inspired. I think they're expecting to save 100%. Blitz knows his angles. Not going to give Woxic a freebie. Ooh, a clear of the smoke. Techno just dips back into the con smoke. And now returns. Will he isolate Madja here? So there is a timing on that smoke fade. He can go and isolate, and he will. Nice aggressive. Aggressive? Or aggression? Well, that's my, maybe how they say it in Mongolia. Yes. But, uh, either way, Mongols look extremely well prepared for a lot of these little moves. Like that smoke kind of gave Techno a real indicator as to what they were cooking. I love how stubborn they've been playing Con. Senzu, now Techno. So many nades left as well. 
Well, now you wait, and you're vulnerable to mid, you're vulnerable to air, you're vulnerable to all these other aggressions, and no, how about a B main clear? Woxix holding though, oh, missed shot! Missed off shot, leads to two! Techno shuts down B. Bomb on the floor. Mazzino's pushing A. And Mazzino activates loudly, loudly, a bit too loud if you ask me. As all Centaurus the info, That's and all the Calix info. both spotted. The fact you already have the bomb down, you can piece this round together and it should be all yours for number seven. Techno, will he catch Centaurus steps through spawn? No, well, he's saving. How about a reload? I think the reload <laughs> yeah, may have actually been possible. hurt. Yeah, he's very cautious. And his mouth looked like it was moving. Oh dear. You're not clearing the Centaurus, not at all. <laughs> okay, Techno <laughs> takes that one for free. And He's in Alex. Spawn! Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing in Spawn? Well, this is fantastic from the Mongols, isn't it? Bro, I mean, yeah, like you said, I mean, it, you could frame it both ways. It is definitely fantastic from the Mongols, but as you said, Eternal Fight, it is, it's very funny to, to observe it from, you know, the third party, but they, it's just getting away from them. Like this game, the first, you know, the first gun round, very quick, blink, you miss it, second gun, now suddenly, oh, it's... 7-1. If there's only one glaring issue is giving up the 4v2 retake off the B bomb site, yeah. the ramifications of that are huge, right? And you're seeing that dispel within the finances at the moment. So EF will buy back in behind the Calyx save, and obviously so, the max loss bonus is working in their favor. It's going to be a mid-crawl right now from Blitz. He's got oversight of 9-10, just holding on to a curious angle. So Blitz is going to activate. 9-10 is going to widen his, and he's ready for the boost this time, or at least he acknowledged it for a second. Ooh, goes down to Blitz. Nice That's from great. Centares, but at least a 4v4 found. Gotta get fed up with that if you're 9-10. Well, Cardia keeping the options open for a moment, but uh, this definitely feels like a B finish. I'm gonna wish he played Double Dark now, isn't he? Oh, but Techno catches for Cardia crawling. Now the rest, they can focus all of their attention on the main point. Oh, and it's gonna be Kalix. Finding Techno makes it awkward. Mazzini has already arrived here. Bomb to be planted by Woxic. A three versus three. Spamming the smokes. They fade up. And now Eternal Fire need this round. But Blitz catches Magic Poke in his nose out of dark. It's very uncomfortable for Kalix and Woxic now. Senzu tucked out Glyph. Blitz going to find the final frag here onto Kalix. He's got pressure from behind him as well. He has to stay swiveled around. Out the edge of the smoke for the first. Finds Mazzino. Tagged up. Body bagged up. And eight for the Mongols. Damn. Love that from Blitz as well. This is three players in A main searching for info. They've got full mid control right now, EF. Mazzini goes first. Oh, the timing! The timing is terrible for Madja. He just pulled out his grenade. Kalix desperately searching for a trade, and he becomes Mazzini's second scalp. Awkward now. Very awkward. EF just don't look themselves at the moment. Like, they had two flashes for the finish there. And look, I understand the timing of that seems quite awkward. But Mongols are doing such a great job. Now they drop down, they head towards B. It's Senzo and Techno here. Blitz on the way, but this should be a shutdown. That, that Molly, perfect. 15 seconds. I mean, now you're running channeled into Mazzino. You'll get, you get another one. Okay, Mazzino, rocking and rolling with three kills. Oh, and the HUD, no, 9-10's looking for you, Zantares. And might you find your spots after him. Time, after spots time. him, zero no, on the no, no. 400 bucks all Zantares has to work with. All right, guys, we got one U-tool set and an extra smoke. Let's make it land. We better land. So will the orb shot, though. Oh, he stopped right. Perfect on the money. Then he dumps his U-tool, and you go, I don't want to commit into an orb, but we've got... <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere right know. now. Where do we go? Madja, what do we do? Might be home quickly. Yeah, bloody hell. I mean, Blitz might get caught out here by the pacing of this. I don't think he will. Ooh, ahead of the smoke is Madja. Zinho and Techno have found frags everywhere, though, and Ricardia can't hit a shot either. What is going on? I don't know. I haven't seen Eternal Fire be this uh, slow in a long time. I mean, Mongols, they've got themselves an 11 round haul on the CT side of Anubis. This is unheard of. Join us after the break as we continue to unravel the Eternal Fire mystery. Ah. Oh. Yeah? It's not going to land. Oh, okay. Well, I like that you're trying. Hey, wait, hold up. Maybe I can. Centaurus is going to get one. Maybe a second. Senzu's up there. And woo, Mazzino is not shy. Had the bomb on his back. Still brings the fight into the site. Now Mazzino to plant. Woxic behind the temple. Smoke and Mongols hit every shot they take. They're coming into this game with a 36% win rate in the last three months on Anubis.
And yet, look at what the, how high they are flying now. Woxic and Magic to retake, and there is a kit. Hang on, he could do something. He could, he could, and he has. Well, flashed. His own flash, he gets the kill. Woxic has contributed as well. Puts it onto Blitz with no Kev. Ooh, don't fancy his chances here. This is a must win. Going for the full hold on the defuse. And Blitz bit late on the hold. Oh, dear. They'll take the pistol. Snatch that one away. Blitz sure gets some kills, but that was a necessary pistol converted. Nice retake. Oh, he's put a bow on the dig logo. I think that's actually really cute. Oh. Actually, Senzu, 10 points. To well, I think he got dropped that, didn't he? Gryffindor. Whoever's crafted that. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Zintares deleted, and Madja, his next victim, he's played it to perfection. Be open. Senzu's made it so. How awkward, how uncomfortable. Ooh. Hang on, he's blocked the temple smoke a little bit. Gives him something to play around, perhaps. Ah, they missed the uh, molly towards back plant, so Kalix gets a second life. Yes. I'm not talking about the game. No, but I think he's probably wishing he's role-playing right now, because the role he's playing is dying. 12 in a second round Out fourth. of all possible outcomes coming into today, this was not the outcome that I had seen. I didn't fo foresee... You know, I was reading my tea leaves yeah. before I come in and, and do it. And it, a 12 to 2 scoreline on Anubis, Eternal Fire's map pick after the type of counter strike they played yesterday. And after the last time they had a head-to-head -head where it was a full three mapper, right? Yes. A pro league. And competitive. 16, 13, 13, 9, 13, 11... Here we find ourselves Ooh. with, I mean, well, Counter-Strike has been very volatile uh, as of late. It's about how you Ooh. perform on the day, and Mikadius definitely find a little bit of form on the way out. Laser Beam on the uh, MP9 will not get to retain the AK-47, and that's likely the death knock. Alex, you win the CT pistol, you lose the follow-up. There's probably nothing worse. All right, well, uh, right now, you know, it's been, it's like a par three. It's been a really nice drive from the Mongols. The Ball's lands just on the green. It's rolled close towards the pin. And right now, they're just going to putt it in. Just going to take in a couple of deep breaths, and they're just going to bend in the knees. Nice grip. Really focus. A bit of Adam Sandler. Happy Gilmore action. Get in your hole, and... Well, I guess you're home. As uh, only four more kills to find. You're going to shred them to pieces. One by one, Eternal Fire will fall. And coming up next, we have the map choice of Mongols. That's going to be Mirage. Interesting. That's all the info. Seen the last two. Let's run towards B. They can have the guns. That's fine. Nine ten can stand here and block. It's going to be desperation. The bomb is on nine ten's back, so he is going to have to actually hightail it. Might be Blitz, the one to scoop them up from behind. No, Calix seems aware, but he is going to get blindsided. Hello and goodbye. Zantares, the final victim. And there you have it. Mongols, 13 to 2. An insane victory to kick off the survival series for their life here at IEM Rio. Just been drawn back now. By a decoy. What is happening? <laughs> I love it. They don't know. Look, look. Oh, they're waltzing There's up the a cat mid. Hello. Magic. up. Madja just looked away! Oh, there's the penny dropping! There it is! Okay, we got the info. Now we need headshots. Techno runs over the B defense, and Taras and Kalix are here, but don't forget that goosh earlier. Kalix gets finished off. Senzu the one to do it. Techno now was gonna find the head of Zantares. And the B side's lost. What a crazy pistol. You know, yesterday when we did EF on Inferno and they had Madja pivot back towards A and throw the window smoke from yes. towards A to like show the trajectory, so then when Woxy sold the fake, it seemed more uh, convincing. But this is the this type of Counter Strike is the stuff that I'm sure. Uh, what well, what can I say? Okay, well they've left ramp. Let's go ramp. Check them PC. Yeah, right. Calix, good luck. Have fun, mate. One man and a five seven versus the Senzu aim. Hang on, he hit the headshots. Plural bomb down. Xenio comes out Palace unannounced. They have jungle control. Techno can control that. CT is going to be a problem, though. And not for long. Xenio delivers. Zantara's found Techno, though. So jungle now open for business. And Zantara's is peppering. But with an MP9, it's not the weapon for such a long-range engagement. But it's got the bomb. Now he needs to get back. Calix is repositioned. Great round from him so far. Oh, my God. He tagged him. Just a lick of damage on the jump with the MP9. 19 seconds. Yeah. Blitz is going to try and find Hello. Him. But Calix from behind will catch him. And so this one takes shape nicely for Eternal Fire. Four alive. Second round forced by. This is a sign of life from the Eternal Fire Boys. Get out of there, Mazinia. Try and save that Galil the best you can. 
hunted after the time would be worst case. And we'll walk away with two AKs and a Galil, and they are just around the corner. Was in you are crazy for hanging around. Them. Damn. All right, well, they find the final Galil. There you go. Something to be proud of if you're a Tur Turkish Counter-Strike fan. And so we get into our second round. Mazzini has saved Galil, the biggest gun they've got, and he might lose it. Oh, right at the start. Yep, Zantares wins the war of attrition. Yeah, good to see the confidence that they're showing to take those type of a duel short. Sure, that's Zantares you're fighting there. Mazzini has done some damage, but I don't think they convert off the back of that. Molly has missed. It didn't flush Blitz out, but it's not going to matter. Wakadia still sweeps two under the rug, and now it's just Senzu and Techno. And we'll call this one done. I believe so. Okay, EF, two rounds. That's as many as they had on Anubis. We saw them have a good victory on this very map against G2 just yesterday. So uh, we know they're no slouch. I think last time they played against Mongols on this map, it went the distance. So uh, hopefully we do get that competitive affair. It would be great to get over to Inferno. You don't want to see a blowout, especially after the good CS that we've seen from EF so far. Chances of this bomb going down really low considering Kalex's position. You're going to clear CT. You might catch Centares. It's all about the timings. He's not ready. He still gets it. But Kalex has yeah. to be somewhere. Kalex is still unfound. Oh, no. Oh, Techno mantles up just 2v2. He's managed to equalize a 2v4. Not another 2v4 fumble. From Eternal Fire. Oh, it's falling apart at the seams. One more to find. Senzu gets the info. Can get away as well. Through the flames is Magia. Weathers the storm for 50 HP. A 1v2 demanded of their captain. Good damage actually onto Senzu with that initial spray. He's got 17 bullets to find the two of them. Mantle's up, spots out Senzu, swing out! Oh, oh, what? One bullet in it, Magia could have come up clutch. I think it's tough to execute A with only one smoke. Historically, <laughs> but maybe. Oh, well, he got, dropped another, he's got two, never mind. Missed shot from Woxic. Oh, not gonna make the same mistake twice. Nails the headshot onto Senzu. Damage onto 910, just standing in the open, inviting the scout to keep taking pot shots. It's Zentaris to clear out Palace. Oh, the pre-aim was good. Nearly caught the Tetris advance. Bacardi deleted. Good pre-aim and pre-fire. Oh, well, oh, they're going to advance. This is perfect for Magia. Magia, real opportunity. Oh, it's beautiful from Magia. That's the aggression. That's what he didn't get in the last spray, the last round. Losing the 2v5 could have been the unraveling. At that point, the game could have After Anubis, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So it's great that they are showing some fight. Whoa, Woxic, a nasty death. It's Glocks. Just Glocks. Well, you, you can't get that back, and they're well aware of that. They're just going to rotate immediately around the world. Pack mentality. W keys pressed down as Kalex plays forward once more. Perfect weapon for the job. Farm up some cash, get the Woxic orb flowing. How many has he got? I reckon three. the one. Damn, they're doing a lot with just blocks. How are they hitting Zantares? Why is he 1 HP? A single Desert Eagle, four Glocks, and another oh kill. Blitz has made it a 2v2. Good God, no <laughs> way. No way does this get any more dangerous. It's fine. Everything's fine. Wakadi has taken down Techno, the only healthy member of the squad, but Blitz is... Somewhat of a chess mastermind, you is know? going to do it again. He, he loves the around the world maneuvers as Blitzy Boy. Well, let's see if the window of time stays open for long enough to get the bomb down on that B site. He will have to hit absolute scorches of shots. If they allow him to get in and plant, then even just to win the round is going to be insane. Madge is coming over. Oh, I think Madge he gets got him on to the, the window. He gets to the window in time, but he's paused. So there is a chance that this plant goes down. Here's him now. Madge knows. Does he go ahead of the Volcardia play? Or will he wait it out? Oh, on the mantle. Blitz fakes it out, though. Shorts should come and collect any second. Magia gets him. But, I mean, getting a plant and three kills. Anyway, we should probably focus on the Counter-Strike. It's Mazzinia. It's Mazzinia. Of course it is. He does seem like the chunky guy. He's a cutie. Guy. Yeah, he's a cutie. Voxic's going to be holding for Blitz on his underpass progression. Let's see if they account for it with a flashbang. That smoke implies it's possible towards Khan. Voxic knows he's on a timer. Gets out. Wakadia tapping away to prevent any potential punish. Senzu there, well played. Wicardia collects a nice opening kill. Senzu, one of the highest flyers alongside with Techno. Cut short. This bench position. He's on his own, Alex, completely. Yeah, Wicardia unable to provide any help. Oh, Mazzino, little rascal. 
Crouch peeks the window to get the elbow angle. Spots out Magic Free. Blitz down to Wicardia. So they have info as to where Wicardia is coming from. 910 does not want to give up the ghost here. Techno hearing steps on market. Timing everything. Flash to distract, oh, covered by Woxic, well huge frag. Eternal Fire, they're coming back into this bomb site. They will take it by force. 9-10 yet to frag. This could be an opportunity. This could be one hell of an opportunity. Mazzinho catches one, need the double kill. Woxic's ready and holding, gets the conversion. A smoke to play around and time on his side. Mazzinho, what can he do? Can he come up clutch? Woxic opts for the M4, dips nicely, avoiding the hunt, but Zantares just in the nick of time secures a fifth. Damn, these rounds are close, aren't Very they? Very close. And the devil's in the details. I love that. The Mongols are in a position where they're down a player, so you feel like you do have to make an aggressive move to try and level things up, and they did it with a flash. It wasn't just a dry swing. I, I don't want to see the Mongols get into a similar position as they were against uh, Vitality. Remember on Nuke where they were just like buying rifles and they had no utility? It's essentially what Josh was just highlighting about a lot of the buying decisions that Tunnel Fire were making yeah. late within the stages of uh, Anubis. I, I don't want to see... This is fast. This is in your face. Senzu up cat. Already putting Wakadia on notice. <gasps> oh, and he's ready for the Zantara's challenge. Massive opening. From opening death to now an opening kill. Oh, he's still stuck in the vent room though, Wakadia. Oh, how is he alive? Techno's dead now. Madja finishes him off. Senzu a second one. Kalix reveals his position, so he's locked in. 910 has got him dead to rights. If he tries to leave, Mazzinho on the reload might incite a swing. Perfect. Perfect round for Mongols. I reckon Senzu's got another one. Oh! Four for Senzu! He is in form at his very best and gets 9-10, a free AWP for... A free AWP for free. How good are the flashes? Or are there any? Crouch peek into the AWP. They were not expecting an AWP here. Good read so far from Eternal Fire. And Makadia is going to be set up for success. That's an interesting molly to limit his AWP angle. Well, they pulled the plug immediately. Yeah. Now you can see Blitz just hightailing it. The rest of his team hanging around for a couple of stray shots through the boards. But Magic plays forward. This unknown element, traditionally the B anchor, is now all the way up. And he might get some sound cues if they're not careful. Good luck, Magic. Just a crouch peek. They weren't really expecting anyone there. USP gets another. <laughs> he gets more than he was worth. Oh, and Zintara is here. You're never ready for that. <laughs> Lovely play from Eternal Fire. They are just shaking off that Anubis. Harding in front of that cat smoke is Senzu. And he's been found by Zintara's. I'm sure, it's not easy working mid against Zintara's. Oh, and working B against Madja, apparently. Oh, he's got the angle. Puts Techno down to 30. So scoop up the bomb and try and retake middle. Smoke's on the window, smoke on the cot. Smoke would be on the con if Blitz's big head wasn't in the way, and it does uh, lead to then, his demise. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, we all know how those rounds feel. Yeah, TS gets a bit quiet. Yeah. Everyone just takes a breath. Oops. Well, uh, now they've got seven. Okay. Oh, fuck it, guys. Just play for picks. Just play yeah, for picks. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a little bit concerned for Senzu. I like the confidence that he's continuing to show, but he's given away five opening deaths so far. Any opening kills? Couple. Uh, yeah, he's one. One. One to his name. So uh, he's hemorrhaging in that department, which, look, if he can get traded upon, great, but... Otherwise, not ideal. Wow. Woxic taken down. Techno, this would be a 1v5. You did a 1v4 the other day. I don't think so, sir. Techno 5k. I think we're asking a little bit too much of him with 30 seconds left. At least the bomb's on his back, but uh, there's a whole crossfire. A whole team, bar one, set up to receive him. Kalix goes looking. 20 seconds. As he does try and isolate. Fair play. Kalix will collect. Maybe it's just the same call and hope the AWP's not there this time, but a deep smoke. <laughs> Ooh, are you brave enough? I think you go through. Are you brave you enough? definitely go through. Madja, he hears you coming, jumps up. I love it. Well played by Madja. He is holding his own on this B bomb site. 910 will catch the support though, and down goes Madja. Okay, well, that looks great for Mongols post plant now. Yeah, have good util, and they have to give this a go. Let's see, can they pull it off? 
Tares. He has that smoke, which gives him some options to push through this window. You can see he's going to mantle out. Tries to isolate. Two players towards that van position. Apps occupied. Oh, nice shot from Woxic. Actually takes down 9-10. Now Mazzinho is gone. It falls to Senzu and Blitz. He hits the necessary headshot. Short is still a threat. Zantaras to play next. He's gone across. This is huge. What oh! a shot from Senzu! A wrist-breaking insta-flick, insta to the hand, and now no time really for Kalix Smoke and Defuse. His only option, Blitz should have him. Blitz has it. Eight to four. We wrap this one up. It's changing sides. We'll be right back with the second half of our second map. Can Mongols end it in two? About to come Mazzinho's way. He's over towards Ticket. What? His support network is stacking B, so this will have to be a retake for the side of Mongols. Yeah, this, this, this util is going to be perfect. They've got Molly for everything. Molly Dark or... Yeah, throw it simply. Two smokes into the site. Mazzino. Oh, he tracks Zantara. trying to be the evasive with his movement. And now another tap from Senzu could get them situated nicely. Good tracking. Everyone's hit their headshots. Oh, it's fallen apart for Eternal Fire. Okay, Mazzino. Four quick clicks of the USP. Maybe now is his chance to start connecting with that orb. He's not going to see anything action early. He started off towards B with a heavy A start. Zinho, he's been looking good today, and he continues to deliver an opening, but down with Cardia indeed. He gets two. Back to mid, back to Techno. MP9 for him. Blitz just fell off. And they accelerate, completely no overlooking the Techno there. position! Double kill for Techno! Oh, it's fallen apart at the seams with Cardia. What can you do? Nothing but save. The decision made for him, trying to keep hold of that AWP for his boy. A jump shot attempt from Techno. But they've taken it. They've taken this round by force. I can't quite believe that. Wakadia's trade and then the follow-up on A round was a thing of beauty. His aim was on point there, and you think that's enough. And the dressing of the Woxic AWP dropped across. Not making excuses, but I do think Madja was lulled into a false sense of security saying blitz pull back from triple to ct mm -hmm. i think he just got immediately kind of got the bloodlust of i have a window i have timing little did he know there was an smg waiting match out there's some timing in favor of him throwing out the he punishes techno and might get into b site for free drops in Bomb's coming this is very threatening this is very threatening and it would have been more so had that been a full damage headshot instead still very healthy as senzu 80 points of health the nade looks destined for damage Head of the smoke is Senzu. Two in the apartments, two on the site. By no means an easy retake. All three through cat now. Chunks. Converted now. Save. And save. Not Beautiful. Ten. There you go. A saved orb, and it's an opening kill, and then a tech nine kill from your in-game leader, and it's an open bomb site. Really well done from Eternal Fire. An important round. An inspiring round. Mazzinho will get one for his troubles, but sure, you'll take that. That, that was the partial buy. This was meant to be uh, Mongols' free opportunity, or the closest thing to, to tie things up 8-8. Now EF will just eke their lead once more. 9-7 is Santares. The master goes down with the bomb. Techno not going to be too concerned. Well, clear of the smoke for the second time really shows the intention, and EF used that as their opportunity to waltz on out and grab this top mid island box control bomb still down in t-spawn so no real moves from ef to be expected but from blitz well he expected a favorable fight wakadia looking sharp having a great game really i mean i think the flash was was on the money wakadia maybe just quickly turned it well we've seen ef over complicate or lead themselves into the stack before let's see advantages in gun rounds are more scared than when they're on tech nines at this point Taris, however has extended their advantage catches that ramp progress from Mazzino is looking for info gets a bullet into the chest this would need to be insane yeah no no chance here no chance at all good spray combined with the flame that's protocols and it does look like 10th has been made a reality it smells a bit like inferno doesn't it mm -mm -mm, delicious Italian just around the corner I'll take a quick look and see what's going on during all the action of the B stream while we have this save. VP. No, not VP. Yeah, VP Astralis. Yeah, VP Astralis. Winner of that plays winner of this later today. Uh, we have uh, Furia versus Na'Vi as a seeding match coming up next.
And for the final A stream game of the day, it'll be FaZe versus Mouse. That'll be for uh, the, one of the final slots within the arena. And well, traditionally, I think FaZe uh, always have Mouse's number seven series in a row, I believe. Yeah, their, their bracket, they've had like two teams that really can't beat FaZe back yeah. to back. From it's the Big Brother syndrome. I think. Yeah. Really interesting uh, interview over on HLTV.org with Rain talking about what it's like to play against Twists calling. All right, three ready to peer out top mid. Madge is setting up Zantara's and walks it. Wakadia in through the underpass and Kalix Palace actually leering forward quite aggressively. So Kalix is now noted. He can back off that pressure. Means that 9, 10 and Mazzino need to be on notice and helps them get a gap up con. So working nicely for EF. Yeah, Kalix. Oh, the Palace player's got an opening kill. There's a nice one back. And a lot of pressure onto this con players. Oh, 9, 10 and Senzu combined to completely repel the con occupation. Kalix doing everything he can from Palace, but with low HP, it's really on Wakadia. Works upstairs. Oh, maybe, maybe spots the cross back. Doesn't manage to connect the shots. Evades the farm swing from jungle. Through the smoke fade. Wakadia's holding for this. He is looking drilled. So well drilled. Actually, continuously pestering that CT player. Oh, 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 oh. the con player as well. Can Wakadia clutch up for 12? One bullet. One bullet, not enough. 9-10 has a round, a quad kill from the AWPer with the M4. Ooh, this is risky from Blitz. This is very risky from Blitz. Yeah, Magic's gonna spot it out. And Blitz wins the duel. Good reactions from the in-game leader. It's just such a long walk as a CT and you can get caught by anything, a jump spot. Uh, fortunately for him, Magic just walks into his crosshair. Ooh, leg shot. Was the bomb spotted. Bomb on the back of Roxic. Orb reveal does put damage onto 910. Oh, what a flash. Two of them doing the dance, maybe even three. And now Molotov Central, Wakadia, safe from the flame spread, holding jungle for Zentaras to progress. Could be a good HE. Doesn't look like it's going to do too much. Woxic down to 70. Susceptible to the lesser weapons now. They're hanging on by a thread on CT. If they can clear out this position. Yeah, they do. Fine blitz. And now Woxic catches Senzu. This has fallen apart He's for the Mongols. Low. Very low. The boost is something, though. I wonder if Centaurus overlooks They'll it. plant triple, though. They're not going to plant default. Dismount. Audible. Woxic and Zentaris with Wakadi. This is the gruesome three. You're going to struggle to get past them. Off the back of a timeout, convincing one for Eternal Fire. Now Zentaris peeks through and traded. Mazzino, he's not got much health, so wow, the amount of impact he's having is impressive. Techno has got some to work with and the kit. Wakadi playing it safe. Wakadi really is the win condition! Oh! That's a one tap, baby! That's beautiful! Oh, Wicardia is in form. Precision, execution, a quick one tap round done. Oh, they've called the stack correctly. Yeah, boost on box for 910. Senzu going to be spotted out on his bench position. Does go down to the Zentara's tab. Flash to delay. 30 seconds. Throw that smoke when you can, Techno. Needs summon to play around. Just smokes himself. Oh, 910 too. From that boosted box, 25, it gets awkward for Eternal Fire now. 9-10, safe from the Molotov on that box. Madja creeping out, Techno covered by that smoke, it's working out for them. Oh, 9-10's leg visible, we'll find the first and the second. Madja to throw the knockout blow on Mirage. To secure the Inferno and just Mazzino detached from the pack with a couple of seconds to spare. And surely there's nothing here for an MP9 in a dream. Not bad on the damage department. Eternal Fire, they're not going down easy. They will not go down with a whisper. Instead, they shout Mirage. They take us to a third Inferno to separate these two teams and to send one home. Who's to clear out the sandbags? A bit premature on the HE. Are they going to be tricky again? Remember last time round, it was the B contact and then the bomb show, and it was all over the place. Yeah, well, oh, they're funny, doing the it's bomb, funny yeah. you should say that, Chad. Uh, okay. It's funny you should say that. Blitzy <laughs> Boy and uh, that of 910 are going to set up a full B fake. Ah! The B fake's just lost its potency, I'd say. What, as they throw out the CT smoke and they uh, are smoked off themselves? <laughs> Woxic. Oh, Woxic does nothing. Mazzino going to be clotheslined by Kalix on the drive-by through sight. Wakadi can tuck into Balk. He's safe from this long ramp. Short threatening as well. Kalix has got to be worried about two different angles. Wakadi can activate long range, though, on the dual barrette is not easy. Has to be very precise. 9-10, where are you planting, Chief? 
Yeah, Asensi's got it covered. Fortunately, he hits a nice shot towards Zantares. Bacardia can't really disrupt the plant, but wants to survive long enough for Magic to join him. That Molotov makes the decision for him. Ooh, unnecessary amount of damage taken by that. Magic comes up through short, needs the one tap, doesn't find it. Techno plays the long game. Sends you to be cleared out. Stays dynamic, mobile on that box, and just gonna fall into place for the Mongols. It sends you and Techno with five kills between them. Okay, so out of the five pistols played so far, he plays up on the boost immediately. Okay, so this is a little ploy that they have in mind. I think you could, yeah, you can boost on each other's head to see over the smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, they are heading B, and Woxic will bait them in. This could be a solo scout, right? He fires off a shot, tucks into the sight. You start to accelerate, you throw your smoke, and they can see right over it. And a free frag collected. Oh, dear! Double foul by Kalix. Woxic even <laughs> hits a headshot. And after the timeout, after not wanting to trip over their shoelaces, they find themselves very far up Struggle Street. A deep smoke there. It's going to give them a little bit of a buffer zone. 9-10 and Senzu, you need this one, boys. I do like the deeper ruin smoke. It gives him something to play off of upon the fade. Senzu can hold this. Jump spot from Zintares confirms new box a threat. Do you want to just go for numbers? There's a banana. Presence two. And here they come. Oh, Senzu racks up a double. Can live now. Play time. 9-10 will activate. And that's lovely. A two versus four. Well handled by Mongols. That incendio. He does actually give them a line of sight onto the jump spot of Zintares. Second wave, same angle, still available. Oh, stack nades, good damage. Very good damage. Major and Zantara is worse for wear. Enforce the issue, they'll enforce this fight. Maja, good work. Oh, Senzu gets away with murder there, finds the headshot. Now, just remind everybody, if they didn't catch that Vitality game, the amount of HEs that Mongols were lobbing top banana onto the heads of Flamesy and Apex was insane. See if that's a common theme and if EF are ready for it. They pivoted. It's a 2 2 split of the defenses. Techno wasn't ready. <laughs> Woxic, a quick scope, tracks the blitz swing. Oh, man. Oh, Woxic, he's having an absolute field day. It's a quad kill from Woxic. Locks down the site. Oh, left, right, good night. Nothing here for Senzu. Oh, boy. Does he even give it a look? That's probably the bigger question right now. And he might just waltz into the scope of Woxic. It's still trained. It's still ready. And he could pick up the ace in one click's time. Oh. Denied. Senzu takes him down, but a whole lot more ahead of him with 20 seconds left. And it doesn't even look like he's going to go. Well, they will be able to get that all back. So that's not a problem. Mild damage, I'd say, as Senzu scampers out of town, but that's a statement from Woxic. Maybe the intent and what we want, hope to see from him for the remainder of this map. What have you got for us, Calix? Woxic's going to need to help him out or not. Does it on his own for the first two. Now Woxic's ready. Collects, catches Senzu. Wicardia's present. This is shaping up nicely. That frag from 910 does sow some seeds of doubt and a chance onto Zantares could have opened up more. Blitz is so low with that bomb, so it really does fall to 9-10 to take this head-on collision with Zantares, and he'll lose that one out. That's the first kill we've seen from Zantares into our fifth round of play. Yeah, Madra, he gets a chance to get on the board as well. If Blitz wanted to peer around that arch side, Madra was in library, but he's going to dip on all the way back. 50 seconds remaining. I feel like you would love to get a plant here, but I don't think that's going to be allowed. Zantares has already rotated back over towards B. Blitz on such low HP, and they've dealt with the... A play yet again. There you have it. Zantares removes him and two rounds for eternal fire and Eco coming forward for the Mongols. If you swing dry into the AWP again, Woxic will just collect you. He's looking sharp. It's a flash. Here we go. Quick reacts from Woxic. Flash coming through. Ricardia eats it, so Senzu's allowed to get himself on an uh, impactful kill. If Kalix can pass this test, they're absolutely fine, and he does. Locks it down. Nice nade to find him. Bomb actually could be scooped up. Can 910 come up clutch? He's known for a clutch shot too. But an open plant. He's just going to have his back turned. He's not ready for short so quick. And spotted out, turned around into Majap. You can hear how much that one means to them. A threatening round. See, they saw the AK on Senzu, but it was just that hero purchase. Well, Kalix starting over towards B is telling us something a bit out of the box. 
It looks quite benign, actually, Chad. So they've come on over and they've used their A players to throw out the early util. Now this will be the second wave. Centaur is setting up Madra and Wakadia and forward they pop. Ooh, Nade's good. Senzu will take 70 or work with 70 here since the flash is back. Good, good flash. Headshot found. Madra just staring at the wall and a white screen, but now they are going to overlook you, Wakadia. Trigger discipline, but Techno too good. Too good from Techno. Oh, wow, the bait and switch, it nearly set Wakadia up for the masterful multi. It's crazy with the diligence on Techno, because Senzu's literally already passed that position. I want to position, see it, yeah, right? I'd love to see, like, uh, Techno's thought process. But Wakadia found himself in that position the other day, and uh, they both play good Counter-Strike, which is nice to see, right? Uh, obviously, some different flavors with the Mongols, but understandably so. Is, well, uh, Senzu does get that kill, and 910 takes away the AWP. Snatches it for himself. Tarez is going to be summoned over here. They wait for the flash now. They start to say that as their ghost signal. Good shot from Woxit. Catches the first man in. Now aggression from Madja dealt with. It's Zantarez overlooked. Catches one, but it's only one. Senzu immediate trade. That trade has really opened up the bomb site now and should convert the round. Nothing left for Calix as he arrives late banana. Even a smoke on Senzu still, so yeah, his options nullified. Calix, we've seen you 5-7 on Mirage. It was sharp. Can you grab this one? And an AK would be nice. Well, the frag's there. Now we can dip. So what was going to be around with potentially maybe some P250s and the 5-7 now is an AK-47 that they have to worry about. So not out of the waters, uh, Mongols, just yet. It's very important, right? These little details, obviously, yeah. BP, back when uh, they won the major here at they do block top mid, and that sets them packing. Again? We might just go back to B. There's the retake util, so getting that out of the way is going to be feeling like an achievement for Techno, okay? It feels early, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and he's actually going to play ahead in front of it. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a gaping void in your retake util. Oh, almost perfect as well. <laughs> I'm sure if you come out, you're going to know that that position is a possibility, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't delay whatsoever. They get top and out of control for free, essentially. Yeah, now you've got a good idea about the setup. Oh, Techno, he's going ahead. He's giving it a go, pushing on the flash. Oh, what a flashbang. 9-10 sets up Techno. And now the B site, it should be lost. Yeah, Madja had a chance oh, there. A very small Spins one. Spins on a dime. <laughs> Save. It's a Techno round. Well, that's going to be seven. This is a blistering half from the Mongols. How many more can they get? How many more can they lob onto this tally? We've had dominant affairs. Anubis stayed that way. Mongols made a bit of a comeback on Mirage, but right now, running away with things. Remember, this is for survival, elimination for the loser. The winner moves on to later today, the final best of three on that B stream, taking on either Virtus Pro or Astralis. Not sure if that game has concluded. We'll let you discover that on your own as the viewers. Well, they're taking everything with them. What a hunt this has been. Wakadia should go down, and he will. Blitz makes sure of it. Goodbye, Senzu. I want the frag. Just the groundhog day of misery. It has been tough. When you think of, of the three rounds they've won, one of them was like a Calyx Apartments double, the other was a Woxic 4K Orb. Oh, Techno, that's so much information. Blitz, I know you want to help your boy, but you got the bomb. You got to get out of there. You got to get over uh -oh. towards A. Bomb's now loose. That's a misplay from the in-game leader. Yeah, he's let it go. 9-10. He knows, and so does Mazzino. Oh, no, it's fallen apart. And a real steal from Eternal Fire. Centaurus is ready for you, 9-10. You better be quick, because Centaurus definitely is. That's a massive round. Calix again the hero for Eternal Fire. That's really aggressive from 9-10. Look at him go. He's got Brackets control ahead of the util. And his teammates will profit from that. It's Blitz that slips through. He's actually heading straight for the Arch Smoke. Helped by Wicardia. Wicardia gets a necessary kill. That's his third, but it's very important. An opening kill, final round of our defensive half for Eternal Fire. Techno, actually unscathed from the initial banana utility. Woxic might be peeking into 910s. Oh, there we go, dead Orpa. What's Wakadia meant to do now? Not only is he low, he's smoked off. If he plays through, that's crazy, but I kind of love it. That just over towards the library. So they could do this bait and switch setup when the smoke fades. Magic can try and draw attention to set Wakadi up for a kill. 
48 seconds left on the clock. This does feel like it will be the A finish. Matt just left Wakadia to his own devices. He's tucked in sight, so a very deep crossfire. Wakadia. Here's out, goes down. Good awareness from Mazzino, just keeps tabs. What's the potential? Wrapping A. Yeah, let's see what Calix can get done here. He has Madger as well tucked on sight. Madger to take first contact. Calix to peek off of it, but it's no, he doesn't even bother. He doesn't even bother. We'd rather have the element oh, of surprise no. and makes a bit of a meal over the first frag oh, onto Mazzino. Missed. missed Molly, but no worries. Techno catches Calix and Zantares bounds into library. Senzu reads it. And we've got an A4 half. We'll be back after two minutes and we will be talking about it potentially Eternal Fire's end in Rio de Janeiro. This is why people start throwing decoys to try and bait this smoke out. Now he waits, gets them smoked off. Flash, turn, dual Berettas, primed and ready. Techno, he's playing a dangerous game, but a very alert one. Turns the flash as well. Can he get frags? He gets just the one. But oh. Senzu! Oh, oh. Senzu! Oh. Sends him back to spawn! Beautiful pinpoint accuracy with a USP. Damn, he is sharp, isn't he? As he peers down mid, sector clear. So guess what, Mazzino? You're the man who has to mow them. And for A4, could be on for the ace. Well, oh, there's three, there's four, and five. Mazzino teaches us how to count, and we get up to ten. The retake util. Thrown out. Antares has that same gap. Now, Mazzino did catch the Calyx app's presence, and they are aggressing into Zantares now. A re-aggressive sorts. Beautiful control yeah, of the Tech yeah. 9. Yeah, tames it to find the head of Zintares. Uh, that was a bit of a classic over towards apps. Something that you can do to alley your, your apartments player who, you know, traditionally finds themselves sitting on the balcony or in the pit or over towards porch side. Set them up with a flash. That's something that's uh, a nice way to get them activated. Oh, even that flash catches Wogsig. Yeah, for getting outplayed here. Yeah, this is over. It's so hard to even have a conversation about a comeback. It's like we're back on Anubis. Yeah, exactly. So this is a 2v5 scenario. In the next round, it's 2,900 as the loss bonus. There's 27 seconds left on the clock. So you lose this as EF, you go into the next round into a partial, and that's 12 for Mongols. And then at that point, you're going for a buy round to defend your honor and having to win a whole bunch straight. It's going to be eight consecutive needed. Wakadia announces his presence, smokes towards spawn, sends you playing it safe at the back of the site on low HP. We'll let his teammates take contact first. You'll take a plan. Will you take a round though, Senzu, at the back oh of the God. site? Wakadia, how has he done that? While Woxic was punching in the digits, he finds a double. Is that their turn for a 2v5 victory? Oh, mate, just as we were saying, this game looks like it's all done. Mongols have now perhaps let this one slip away. They don't have a kit. 10 second defuse ahead of them. This has fallen through their fingertips. Smoke on the bomb, that will cause panic. That will cause panic. That sound combined with the smoke. Woxic's getting run down, goes, does get sprayed on. Wakania with a low HP. He could ace clutch to save Eternal Fire's chances. He has to run him down, swaps out to the MP9. Mazzino holding it, gets the kick, gets the defuse. Wakania did everything he could. Oh, four kills, two of which on two HP, but it's still not enough to stop the defuse. Do it, it alone. Senzu. Leave it alone. Do it, Senzu. He's worried it's going to bait out his position. <laughs> the chicken staring at him. First it was gloves. Now it's chickens. The chicken looking corner. The chicken looking corner. <laughs> <laughs> Nine ten opens up onto Zantares. That's problematic. Coming in through mid line up there. Util four and what looks like a long take. Lucardia has to kill Senzu. And Senzu needs to go down empty handed. Otherwise this one. It's going to be 12. Oh, okay. Madja, just the one, though, because Mazzino quick to react. He was ready on the corner. Oh, Mazzino, the multi-kills from the Mongols keep on coming. Okay, Wogsik, maybe it's your turn to come up clutch. Two players relatively low. It's Blitz and Mazzino, one bullet away from death, and maybe he could find himself a couple of kills in 20 seconds' time. He's got very few options available to him, and he doesn't just clear his corner. 9-10 converts and a wealth of opportunities to keep their head above water to survive, not even the day. Subscribe to ESLCS. And they are bearing down on the Cherub's position. Will it be Angelic again from Mazzino? He's been generating a whole lot of successful holds on the A-side. 
Safe from the flashes, staying active. Dice kill from Zentaris, but traded. Mazzino's gonna fall off. Oh, he's got support. Eternal fire, stick a fork in them. They are done, out, eliminated from Rio de Janeiro. It's brutal, Mongols throw the knockout blow. Convincing, 13-2 Anubis, 13-4 Inferno. Eternal fire, not putting up a fight. They're not defending themselves.